Nataka pia e, ni seme kwa sababu hata kanisani kuna changamoto. Wa Kenya wengi wa Kristo wanajiuliza maswali. Kuliendaje? Kulifanyika nini? Pale kanisani. Mpaka leo tuko na makaburi wananchi wengi wamepita sasa wananchi mbili wamepoteza maisha yao katika mahali ambapo mambo ya Mungu yalikuwa yanazungumziwa nataka niambie kanisa la taifa letu la Kenya hata hii changamoto na hii wingu ya giza Mungu atatusaidia tutainuka na tutaenda hapo mahali pengine tena and as a government we have taken the decision that we are going to deal with the individuals that abuse the sanctity of faith and the word of god in a manner that we deal with all the other criminals because we do not want an iota of blame on the church we do not want any blot to be on the church because of the activities of a few people we know like the way daniel says in daniel 11:32 that they who know their god they will be strong and they will do exploits i want to tell the church that because we know the god we believe in we should be strong even in the face of shakahola even in the face of the current situation that is raising more questions than answers and i want to assure you that the government of kenya is going to get to the bottom of what really happened give us a little time our security agencies are working round the clock so that we can unravel this act that ashame the people who want to abuse the sanctity of religion and cause loss of life in the republic of kenya so um at the same time we are going to work together with the church we are going to work together with the religious organizations so that we prevent anything like this from ever happening again in the republic of kenya i want to ask our religious leaders i want to ask our religious um, uh, fraternity that we work together towards formulating what our religious leaders and institution will give us as the benchmark how we avoid situations where individuals abuse religion to extort from people and to even destroy lives of people we have to be sensitive and i am confident that our religious leaders will give us the guidance on how we are going to make sure that true religion believe in god our faith our commitment to scripture is not taken advantage of by a few people who have aims 
that are not very legitimate. So nawauliza uh, tuombe nchi yetu. Naamini ya kwamba kwa sababu uchaguzi uliopita ulikuwa ni uchaguzi ambao watu walikuwa wanachagua kati ya wale wanaomcha Mungu na wale wengine wanaendesha mambo namna hiyo so shetani amekasirika akakuja akaingiza mambo ya Mungu kwa mambo ya mauaji lakini vile alishindwa na shetani ataendelea kushindwa i am very confident that we are going to move forward uh, together nimefurahi sana uh, kufika hapa kanisani uh, siku ya leo asanteni sana kwa ile kazi mmefanya Thank you also for the church, for the AIC church. Uh, 